All right, guys, so I got our 9500 and our brand new win running in tandem off the DFX, or DXF uh, 10. So it's quite simple, we just branch off here and close out. Have our adapter. Running fairly like it was before with just the uh, 8750. All right, so we have uh, three of those chargers now, and I'm running all three. So what I did is I eliminated the the lead going into the inverter because that's not going to work on wood gas anyway. And so now we have the external chargers, so the generators no longer have to support the shop load while while this is charging. So it's kind of a bad setup anyway. So anyways, um, all three of those are maxed out right now. The top two are running off the two legs, two 110 legs of the, the 9500. And then... This guy here is plugged into the yellow cord, which is going into the wind. And all three of these together is 60 amps, um, charging at around, and I'm not going to be able to show you, uh, about 54 volts. So, yeah, this is quite impressive. Um, now, if we have to, our, our air compressor, we can't run off of this system anyway. It faults it. It doesn't like the, the motor spike. So when we have to run the air compressor, we actually plug that directly into the uh, uh, generator. So when we're running the CNC machine, we'll take one of those guys um, offline and then run the air compressor off the other leg. I don't know if the one will be able to pull it off or not running the, the air compressor on wood gas. Um, I guess we'll, we'll find out soon enough, but... Uh, Right now, I'm just uh, doing a battery charge and uh, testing the two out um, in tandem. All right, guys, so just a quick video. Um, thanks for watching.